What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are diving into another bullet point for the upcoming Scream 5 spoilers. Now, again, this is a spoiler video, so if you want to click away, I completely understand. I'd appreciate you hitting the like button before you go. Helps out the channel, gets this out to people that don't mind spoilers, and I truly appreciate it. If you're somebody that's just coming in uh, and haven't seen any of these other videos, I'm going over the various points of the spoilers that were leaked for the Scream 5 film. I made a video, I'll link it down in the description below, on all of the spoilers, but per request by many of you, you wanted me to go over the various topic points and give my opinion and have an overall discussion, so make sure you join it down in the comments below. If you're still here, hit that like button, helps me out a lot, lets me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, follow up with the bell notification so you never miss an upload, stay up to date with all things Scream, join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. So three, two, one. Okay, let's get into these spoilers. All right, I'm going to read the point of discussion and then we will talk about it. So, it goes as followed. Tara's friend group is a really great mix of characters and they have a really fun chemistry. You feel it when they're killed. There's really only one of them I didn't like, but their kill scene compensated. They're very protective of Tara. So, this lines up perfectly with the opening scene. Obviously, Tara is attacked and she survives as we know and then she spends x amount of time in the hospital that's kind of all over the place i've seen various people putting out that she's in it like half the film that she's in it for like about the two three scenes of the film i i could imagine that tara is only going to be in the hospital for x amount of time they're not going to leave the girl that you're building your care you're building your your film around in the in a hospital for you know 30 percent of the film so i can imagine she's attacked she's probably in the hospital sam returns to town they have their moment their friends show up that kind of establishes the first sort of camaraderie and just relationship that she has with her friends they come into the hospital they show their support and obviously are going to be very protective you know they, they're she was just attacked she's you know the final girl in the eyes at this time and, and so they're going to position her as like, okay, she's well protected. She has a great diverse group of friends that really are rallying behind her and want to keep her safe. You can imagine that there's probably going to be somebody with her at almost all times. So she, you're going to get a lot of interaction with Tara and the other characters in this film. Now, it says, you know, that there's a great mix, great chemistry. So I hope that that means we're going to get some great dynamics and some great character building as far as the characters go. Because you don't just say that if they're just like seen hanging out one time or, or you know, they're talking at school or something like that. Like you would imagine that high school kids, they're going to be at hangout spots. They're going to be having parties. They're going to be having kickbacks. They're going to be at each other's houses hanging out. And so hopefully we get to see that sort of development of that group of friends those group of characters you see like you know the typical tropes of like oh okay that character is the comedian that character is the jock that character and you start piecing together like who's who in a lot of ways now this person also says that there was one character that they did not like there's usually that in every film right you gotta have a character that sort of turns people off and you're like i hope he dies or she dies or whoever it is you know so i can imagine that sort of fits the bill in regards to like just the story in the film itself so you're obviously going to get that one character that stands out as just obnoxious and carried away or or is just a, a jerk and you're just like okay like this dude deserves to die most likely it'll be the the uh, combination of both just annoying and just that typical jerk over the top too much um, but it says that his kill or their kill is uh very compensated um so granted the reason I say there his kill is because most likely, usually in films, that's the guy's role. There's usually that throwaway guy who's just like the mean, you know, jerk that just bullies everybody. So I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably one of the guys is just that jerk type character. Um, and then obviously, it sounds like the way that they go out is is an excellent kill. We've been told that there's going to be excellent kill scenes, there's going to be excellent chase scenes, that Ghostface is going to move off the knife several times. So hopefully this character is, is taken out in a way 
where we get that that epic scene you know hopefully it's a good quality chase scene maybe a little fight a little struggle but it's he's taken out in a in a more vicious way um i, I really would love to see some some quality kills in this film i, I always reference the scream tv series because they just had such great kills in that however you felt about the series doesn't matter it's just the the kills themselves in that were excellent in my opinion and i really hope that they give us at least some type of kills to that degree now it says that you know that they're the characters are over they're very protective of tara i wonder if they're overly protective that was kind of a what the next point i wanted to address in because there is there is protective and then there's overly protective to where like they're treating her like a frail doll um i i hope that's not the case i mean i'm sure that there's going to be a character or two that are a little over the top in regards of like protection you know trying to be there every second trying to be whatever um but hopefully it's like you know it's not too over the top because you don't want to make your you want to make your final girl yes vulnerable i mean think of sydney sydney and the first scream compared to now she was that frail vulnerable sort of like you know like you wanted to protect her you wanted to just hold her and just say like hey like it's gonna be okay we're gonna we're gonna protect you and so i can see that kind of degree but they weren't over the top with that like like you can't even go outside um obviously we know if you've been following along on these points tara's mom is missing uh the father we have no information on if the father is even in the picture or not um so that we we have a little information that i will touch on later on in regards to a father um but i don't want to spoil that yet um if you've seen the full spoiler then you already know what i'm talking about so if you haven't and you want to find out early link down in the description below but anyway back to my main point is that like you know you want you want to see because that's just human nature you want to protect those that are vulnerable that are in a vulnerable state and obviously tara would be in that vulnerable state she would be in that state of just like you know she was just attacked she just got out of the hospital like she's probably a little immobile at the time you know she's probably not doing jumping jacks and and sprints back and forth so she's probably in a state to where like she needs security she needs people around him i would imagine that dewey is going to to play a part to some degree uh where you know he's gonna have much like in scream 4 where cops were outside watching and waiting you probably get something along those lines dewey's putting cops in places to where she's protected and monitored because obviously at this point based on the spoilers that we have that this is the only real attack up until this point um so it's very likely that you get from a timeline point to where we're at is you get the opening scene tara is attacked uh she ends up in the hospital friends sort of gather around you get the setup uh between the sister dynamic because we already had that in the last spoiler video so you have the sister dynamic that struggle you'll probably get to see that you'll get to see the characters uh coming around her to to you know protect her and and you get the beginning steps of that character building uh, you can imagine that they probably have a scene up at some point where it establishes this this central group outside of just visiting tara because you know you, you might not be best of friends with that group and still go visit somebody just because you know it's a small town you, you you go to school with them stuff like that so boom so i would imagine there's going to be a scene in which that they establish the group like these five six people are is are the clique that this film is going to carry forward to so you'll get that you'll probably get some like little kickback scene handout scene something probably similar to scream four where they were all just kind of hanging out at uh at the house just vibing you know having a good time talking joking laughing you'll probably get that line and then you start establishing the characters like this this character is this this character is this you have the you know the meeks twins so they're they're probably this and then you, you get what i'm saying so you start building that character art building that story arc around these characters and then and then that will probably transition to start they start falling off one at a time and you get those epic kill scenes so i'm really curious to uh to see to what degree they they go into the character building i'm also curious to see to what degree they establish the the story in regards to uh jenna ortega's character tara being this sort of frail doll like are they gonna go too much to where like 
you know, everyone's over the top because they did a great job with that with Sydney in Scream One, the the ninety six, is that yeah, she was vulnerable. We got she was vulnerable. We got that she needed to be protected. We got the establishment of of her friend group uh, from the jump, and and but it none none of that was too much. It was never too over the top, too excessive. And I'm hoping that that's the case in this upcoming Scream Five, where you establish the friend group, you establish the the sort of final girl that you're petitioning and trying to push forward. So now you have the the structure, you have that struggle between uh, the sisters of Sam and Tara and their little sort of like sisterly love yet, you know, hey, like you abandoned me, let's talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it. Again, if you saw the last spoiler video, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And now you have the, the base point in which your film will sort of spawn off from. And now you start picking off the, the friends group one at a time, ultimately leading to Tara and Sam. But as always, this is a discussion and I want to hear from you. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, to what degree do you want to see Tara uh, sort of be vulnerable? Do you want an over-the-top vulnerability? Or do you want like a, a semi-strong yet vulnerable character you know or do you want that strong like where she's just like hey like I'm, I'm cool i don't need this like you know like i appreciate everyone's support but like i'll survive i just fought off ghostface i'm good like do you want that establishment and what do you want to see as far as character builds um do you want to see like do you want them to just keep it sort of generic like character build the the group as a whole or do you want them to sort of focus on individual characters establish those point of references establish those points of characters and so that way you have a definitive like okay like this is who's who i really appreciate that and what characters would you like to see play what type of role you know like and because it, it's a horror movie you're probably going to get the generic like you know the the typical blonde you're gonna get the typical jock you're gonna get the typical nerd you're gonna get the typical you know and you start piecing that together so i'd love to hear sort of your character analysis and your character breakdown of which characters you'd like to see be the jerk be the jock be the so on and so forth so um let me know down in the comments below if you haven't liked this video hit that like button <laughs> it helps me out a lot lets me know you enjoy these types of videos and i truly appreciate it if you're not subscribed to the channel what are you doing hit that subscribe button follow by the bell notification so you never miss an upload stay up to date with all things scream join this wonderful community and all of our discussions i'll see you all in the next one thank you